Let's go. Oh, and we can full screen. That's perfect. Okay, so this is Friend by It's Boats. 12 levels. Is the audio working? Maybe there's just no sound yet. Hmm. Give me a sec. Uh, yeah, you can hear it, but that doesn't always mean it's rooting through the right stuff for me. Hmm. I could very struggle. I'm struggling to hear it. Let me turn the sound right up and then we'll double check. Oh, I know why. Last game we played was really quiet, right? We looked really loud, sorry. So we turned edge volume all the way down. There we go. Oh, this music's great. Liking this. Banging right up to the top. Let's go. Okay, so let's play Friend by It's Boat. Let's make some friends. So there I am. Look at that running animation. It's fabulous. There's a little bit of ramp up and slow down. And I just love the animation. Go! We got a friend! Oh, they stick to me by the hip now! Oh, look at them ragdolling around. Let's go. Is there wall jumping? It is! Okay, nice wall jumping where it just does you a nice 45 degree angle off when you jump. Oh, look at this! Controls just appear here. That's nice. So I can hold shift to dash. Uh, there was definitely death. Uh... How do I restart? Ah? Okay, let's restart. I think I gotta press dash before jumping. This is the first bit of blood we've seen in our jam, dearest boats. Let's see, right, so let's... No, I think maybe you do dash in the air, but... Or you gotta just... You press it just before jumping. No, because it doesn't always work for me. Okay, let's just try normally. Let's go over and get our friend. Hi, friend. Yeah, okay, it does help a bit there. Okay, let's keep going. Up we go. Can I dash more than once, maybe? Am I meant to dash upwards? That's what it's trying to tell me there. Okay, so I can dash in a direction. Ah! Ah! Okay, yeah, that's definitely like more controllery. Music's on point. I really like it. Okay, so it's like it's basically like a double jump. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. It's just a bit hard to execute on the keyboard for for my chunky hands. Let's uh, restart. Just gotta get used to the keybinds. It's normally a hold shift to run fast. I gotta get used to it. It's not working that way. There you go. You only need to make one friend to unlock the friend zone. I like that there's a friend zone. Okay, so we should be able to jump like this. Nice. Okay. Oh no! Oh dear me. Okay, come on, we can do it. Oh, I pressed it too soon. Come on, friends. We've got another friend to make. There are 12 levels, but right now, I'm in the, I'm in the friend zone. Yeah, three friends. How's that? That was a satisfying noise. Do I get a firework for each friend? Oh no, there's four of them now. Okay. Wow, okay, okay. I was wondering why we're going to change scene there. So what happens here is... Oh, this is where the friend zone will be. Okay, so we need to... Okay, nice nice introduction of uh, puzzly stuff here. Well, not, not puzzle, mechanics. Okay, so I can just jump straight up. I was hoping I could... Yeah, do that. 
And also, I guess I can hold the side. Oh wow, you can you can pretty much rock climb then. <laughs> That's interesting. If it if it can't be like oh gim gimmickly kind of. Oh, okay, so let's think. We can probably jump here. So jump up. Okay, let's go high here. Oh, close. Don't. No, we're not ready for the friend zone. Not yet. So, mm. Yeah, I feel it'd definitely be easier on a controller this. Uh, so we jump. We jump off, then we jump up, and then we gotta jump off again. Okay. I keep pressing shift too early. There we go, okay. Da 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 da! Off we go, friends! Hey, soft immense! Always good to see you. Alright, so you press space to go to the next level. Alright, we got through there, okay. Okay, so we're gonna jump and up and then jump and then jump. Jump. Okay, that was close. Right, this. I, I, you know, we'll get you later. You might be a liability. I think I was my own liability there, wasn't I? Wait, 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 wait. You can go this way as well, right? Because I'm not sure we can even make this on keyboard because we can't aim on a slight diagonal. Yeah, I'll get my controller. Uh, okay, we're back. Can we uh, restart? Here we go. What's the dash button? Okay, that. Okay, so it's like my. We're fine. It feels a uh, hundred percent better already. Uh, restart. That's a toughie. That's a toughie. Let's go through. We don't have to get him. But they, they look a good friend, don't they? They do look a good friend. Are we going to get our good friend? Let's go. Friends! See? It was worth it after all. Oh my words, there's a lot of spikos here, isn't there? I'm 
so glad I got the controller. Okay, uh, what's that? <laughs> that little bit of, of slow down. Oh no! Okay, yeah, I didn't. I was uh, facing that. Uh, pushing the wrong way there. Yeah, once you've committed to direction, it's hard to change direction, which is fine. Just, uh, I like how, like, first time I did it, I was like, yeah, let's just do it easy. Okay. No, you, you're pacifist, and this does count as pacifist game. It's not, it's not a violence-based mechanic, but it does have still that concept of you lose through dying, uh, and like a painful death. Um, so like, it's not like you failed it, it's, it's totally a fine entry. It's just uh, the, some of the others that completely avoid mechanics like that would probably do higher on the theme, if you will. But it's, clearly it's not about like killing things and you, uh, you're collecting friends and that. So I think you've made an effort to do it, dude. There's no doing it wrong. Okay, right, so that wasn't ideal, but we'll do it. <gasps> okay. Hey, Basic Milky, you're here. Yeah, we can check out your game as well after it's about flip. Okay, let's keep going. This, uh, there will probably be another 10, 15 minutes on this game, and then we'll, we'll uh, do your game afterwards. Okay, Milky? If you want me to. I was pressing up, but maybe I wasn't. Ah, man. Yeah, you gotta be super precise with the pressing up. You see that lot that happens when I'm pressing slightly like, accidentally diagonal up? Yeah, like I'm not I'm trying to press up but I'm just not very good on controller. Maybe um in this bit the uh, I can't use D pad. Oh jeepers. Uh, yeah it feels like it goes directions I'm not pressing but I think I think it is. Oh, it, it, I don't know if it's pulling the direction from a few frames behind, or I'm just bad. It could be I'm bad, if I'm honest with you. And the other, uh, like some games have like this, uh, uh, like a bit of a leniency window or something. Is it definitely? It, I'm not great at like controller games, but it feels like I'm struggling more than I should be. We may need to just go for the friend, but if this is third level, I'm concerned that it's just going to get harder if we don't master some of this. I don't know why I tried doing that, that was bad. I also just press A, B, then Y to restart every time. Uh, so like, for some reason my brain isn't mapping that Y is a restart button. Or triangle, whatever, as you can try. I don't know, I pressed it to try and boost then, like an idiot. So. Okay, well at least we went through the gap, right? actually just wall jump and don't press the direction after you wall jump. It helps me get the, the straight bit afterwards. I, 
almost got the top friend. Okay, we got him. No! Oh! <laughs> wow, I stopped far too early. Okay, okay, we're, we're getting it though. Like, that's what I meant. We're, uh, spend a little time getting, mastering the controls and then that means we'll do better on the next one, on the next levels too. Right, come on, do we gamble? Yes. Okay. We've got all our friends, let's go. Hey Cody Beard, lovely to see you. How did the jam go for you in the end, basic monkey? First try. Oh no, I pressed restart! I uh... Alright, get it, get it now. Easy, easy, ready. Alright, let's go. This one goes for boats. There's boats, pick them up. Who's next? Coated Beard, you wanna be picked up? Pow! Gotcha! You're my number two pal. Brainerd Games, you gonna be my number three pal? Are you gonna be my number three pal? It depends whether I can perform the jump. Here it comes. A brain eye. Okay, I've got your brain. Don't panic. We're through. Ah, a bit of precision platform now. Ah, a bit of precision platforming now. Had to do that for the video, you know, when we cut out my deaths and make me look good. And I'll get that bit in chat where you said first time. I'll be. Oh, God. Yes, I'm so good. Okay, now the key is we don't accidentally finish the level. Oh. What? Oh my gosh, what have you done to me? I can't get that one. Without. No. Oh! Okay, I accidentally did it and pressed OK. Immediately. Hello there, great luck. Okay. Yeah, you give me a nice easy one here. That was not so easy, that's fine. Well, uh, I think we'll say that one at the top is really not a challenge with, uh, I mean, there's no risk, right? So. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's nice mechanic. There's a little gap at the bottom left, but surely you don't have to do that. Okay, so we're gonna have to do it like that, that. Oh, he's done it. Okay, I feel really I shouldn't be going for that. I don't even know how to do it. Oh, I could jump. Oh, I do see how to do it. Okay, up here. We get you. Hmm, I don't know. Do we jump? I think we do jump, but it feels like we may not. I think a wall jump might be better. Okay. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a game by It's Boats in the community. It's a game made for my game jam that I hosted recently. Oh, I thought I messed up then. That sharp intake of it. Okay. This is it. We've got to do this right. Oh. That was far too close. Here we go. Oh, he's done it. It's satisfying, man. You get it. You get the controls are difficult, but you get there. Ah, to get to see ya. 
I've got three friends on every level other than the one I accidentally skipped. It's fine. Where am I? We share a bond, a special bond. What? Oh my gosh, what have you done? We're like a weird spite. Oh my, how you've done these con controls are great. I don't even know how you even code that. It's like it clings on, but but it, it, there's like, I think it feels like there's physics involved, right? Feel those. Once there's a certain amount of weight, you lose it. And based on the direction, it will find a new point and attach to it. It's like a weird, creepy spider thing. Have you ever done a spider in a, in a game, it's about... That's very cool. Off we go. Special bond. All of the friends. Uh oh, come on. I love all my friends. Uh oh, how are we gonna get you? Can we get momentum? Oh no. Can we go up and around? Yeah, let's go around the level. Yeah, we got you. Even if they try to hide. The sound is good. Do you have an idea like where you are based on the sound? <laughs> so absolutely creepy. They thought they would be safe inside the bunker. What? <laughs> well, why is this turned to be dark all of a sudden? I mean, it's that again dark as soon as this creature came out, let's be fair. Cute. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Come here. Yeah, Alright, we need to get through there. Are we too fat to get through? No, we can wriggle through. Man, it feels so good the way it moves around. It really feels like a creature. You can never have too many friends. go all the friends in my belly don't be scared I just want to cherish you nom, 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 nom. imagine you gave up this letter this game on like level five you'd never get that appreciation it, there's like a momentum thing so you can't just like go anywhere you want you've got to kind of crawl around a bit but it feels so good like there, I couldn't go just around the bend. Even if you do just weigh me down. Oh. Well. Oh, we're back on this level. Uh, maybe we've been doing the levels I've done already anyway. It, it really feels like the big creature tries to struggle through. It's great. Okay. Have I, have I got too greedy for myself? Now you can kind of push yourself through maybe. Hang on. Can I? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Doesn't it feel great being part of something larger than yourself? Come on. We can get through here. You just got to wriggle. There we go. Around we go. There we go. There's my friend. Come on, friends. Off we go. Thanks for playing, friend. Oh, it's going to consume me as well. That was wonderful. Congratulations, boats. Oh, I think I did that level. Um, I still press escape. Uh, there's one of them that I skipped accidentally. No, it wasn't that one. Five? Yes, it was this one accidentally. We'll give this a quick go and then we'll move on. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh yeah, I should just do that way instead. It's easier. I mean, without the death. Okay, 
bucket. I'm still not sure about this top friend. We've got to kind of go off of this, I guess, right? Hmm, or is it from the one before we get a, a lot of momentum going, maybe? No, no, no. Okay, we got it, we got it. In you come. Okay, now we just need... Let's jump in. <gasps> Took our friends. On the... No! I was too slow pressing the leap button. Oh, I'm such a buffoon. Speaking of buffoons. Don't take shortcuts, kids. Unless you can execute them well. That's how you do a shortcut. Okay, got that. No! Uh, da, 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 da. <sighs> I can't get you. You just need to be accurate. Okay, you are done. And this bit, we need to just not panic. I tried just doing a little jump upwards, but I went across. Come on, Dan, you can do this. Don't worry about that. That, that point's the easier one. This one we need to... I panicked. Sorry, friend. You didn't need to see that. They're getting back it, which is more challenging on this. <laughs> Don't ask. I pressed jump instead of boost. Great song, Brain Oid. Okay, so. No, that wasn't good enough. Oh, you, you rascal. I was going straight up and it counted as hitting a spike. That's game design. No nos. Need less collision on those side bits. That was mean, Boats. I will hold you accountable for hurting my heart. Oh, damn. Come on. I, we can do it. You just gotta. You just gotta believe, right? Oh no, Dan! Dan, I panicked! <laughs> it's the switching between jump and dash that sometimes you forget which one. When you can just wall back jump from left to right and then you don't have to press dash, then that confuses me. And get, you get into a rhythm of jump dash. Like this, you know? So I think I just need to stick to that rhythm. Jump. Dash. Jump. Dash! Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, don't finish the level. No, we need to get higher. Come on. <laughs> you see the panic. Oh, that was a cheeky one. I risked it for a biscuit. All right, so this, we can do it all in one, but we're, we're gonna just go slow. And here we will go for the big jump with all of my friends. We made it. All right, we 100%ed it. Oh, we did it, we completed the game before it got creepy. Let's forget about that creepy end. All right. Well, a wonderful game. Congratulations. I really enjoyed. The music's a bop as well. I'm not sure if you made it. Um, it sounds almost too good to be made uh, with the music. Yeah, none. Uh, it was a good choice, though. I enjoyed.
choice of music counts for something too. Right, so the password theme, it's <laughs> it's going to have to be a three compared to some of the others we've had, which are a little bit more uh, <laughs> no death and all of that jazz, but it's still definitely on point for the theme. So thank you for considering that. Uh, I really enjoyed it. The, the challenge of it was good. Uh, I, do you know, I'm, it was just a jumping puzzle, but it was complex enough and the story changed. I'm going to give it five. I really liked I don't think I've given five so far, so good on you. Uh, originality here as well. The jumping and the dashing isn't original, but at the same time, it felt different to anything I'd played before, the way that it'd been done. So, in fair, I'll give you pretty high for that. Uh, the visuals were great. You know, obviously, it's relatively simple graphics. It's, it's kind of vectors, flat colors, but it, it's been done really well. And that, uh, and then if you consider how the like the, the creature works and the little arms and that reach out, uh, yeah, you go for there. And then the audio, you didn't do it, so I'll just chuck a three in. But yeah, that was great. Uh, what a, and what an entry, boats. Thanks for taking part, as always. And this uh, probably had the most memorable. Uh, I don't say plot twist, but what should we say? Story. Um, uh, what they call it where it builds story uh, progression, maybe. <laughs> so to speak, we'll say it's not quite the right word, but you know what I mean. Uh, took a while to get used to the controls. Uh, a while to get used to the controls. I got a lot easier when I switched to a gamepad. The uh, dash and jump being on different buttons and the relationship uh, made the controls feel uh, fresh and original despite despite uh, precision 2D platformers being quite a saturated market um, loved the thing on uh, the later levels. Really cool tech and felt brill to control. Good job. Okay, finally, this is Uncle Shop by Basic Milky. Let's get started. Little click noises. Oh, wow, okay. I can see why it would run badly maybe in browser. The graphics are nice. Really love this art style and the the I don't know if it's just the the, the actual finish to it or it's a shader. I think it's just the um, the assets you've made actually and it's just some nice lighting. Look really good. Okay, E to order items. E to buy upgrade. Okay, so that's an upgrade to get a bigger shop, I guess. Holy smackaronis! Ah, oh. and you can't go out there, but that looks so inviting. That's great. So this is my shop where people come, right? Okay, so let's uh, order some... I Press E to order items. Okay, I don't know what I want to order at the moment. But I think maybe it's good to get some food. So let's get a bit of bread. How much money have I got? It should show me on this screen, really. 200. Backpack, backpack. I'm the backpack loaded up with things and knickknacks too. Anything you might need, I've got inside for you. What a lovely poem. Okay, well, we'll get some bread. Cheese is a good seller. Uh, we'll get a little bit of banana. Milk, someone might want. And then let's see what we've got. Salami. I love a bit of salami. Let's get some of that. A chest and plant pot. These are interesting. I'm guessing I don't instantly sell them. But you can, like, grow stuff? Uh, wood, log, health potion, love potion, bow, dagger. Oh, we're going to have to get a bow. Everyone wants to be Legolas, right? We probably can't afford much more than that. I got a feeling we should be ordering when someone comes up to the door, but we're, we're skipping that, I guess. Let's get a little bit of wood, hello, as well. Uh, okay, let's take it from there. We haven't got much left. Oh, hi. Uh, can I help you? Oh, this is an asset pack by Quaternius, isn't it? 
What is it? Or did you guys make these? The faces look familiar. But it, I think it might just be a, a sort of art style. Uh, okay. Oh! Okay, we got the de delivery stories. It's all arrived. It'd be nice if I could double click these to put them in my inventory. But I'll take it. Right. Hello! What do you want? Uh, do I, I have to place things, don't I? Oh, you put them on your, on your hot bar. Yeah, the dragon's a little mundane. Definitely would uh, like a, an improvement there. Okay, so one E. Who wants to buy my salami? Oh, do I change the prices too? Oh, you bought my salami. Okay, uh, we're going to have a, a, a nice a nice bit of a, a wheel of cheese over there. Do you want some cheese? Oh, right there. Can I change the price? Plus, oh, someone bought it before I could even... All right, they're going to get the milk, the milk down quick. And then we're going to increase the price. 120%. Who wants my milk? You'll take it. You'll take it. All right, you look like you'd, you'd like some banana. Uh, it's an expensive banana, though. We're going to see how, how much people really want bananas. Uh, the plus and the minus makes sense, but it's a bit away on the keyboard. 150% price banana. Uh, you do have one character made yourself. It's, were the walls and the, and the tables and that made? Uh, like part of Quaternia set. It just looks so good. Hello. I've got the finest banana in all the lands. It may be more expensive than your traditional banana, but... Uh, <laughs> you should know that this is not just any ordinary banana. No, is it too expensive for you? Maybe I could... I can't put any... Can I sell on this table? No. Okay, we're going to have to buy something high value that we can sell for a bit. What can we sell? I mean, we got a bow that was worth quite a lot. But uh, this cooked chicken. We're going to get this cooked chicken ordered. Alright. Okay, no one wants my banana at that cost. So let's bring that down. Be nice if you could hold uh, the button to reduce the price as well. Right, this banana. Come on, seriously, look. I'm telling you, this banana will give you good luck, good health. Oh, this one is the one you made yourself, right? Because you always have the, the that here on, in your games. Do you want this banana? Okay, the uh, price is going right down. My banana. Get your banana today. There you go. Someone got a 117% price. Now, who wants wood? Anyone want wood? We got wood. It's costing 10. It's going up to... It's going to go up to 12. If you're not careful. Oh, someone got it just at 10. They got it a good price. Where is the bow? Maybe I couldn't afford the bow when I bought it. Let's uh, up the price. Okay, this bread is going to be 15 gold for whoever wants it. Yep, 15 gold. You take the bread. I've got my orders coming in. The chicken is coming. Okay, right. Fresh chick cooking chicken. Fresh cooked. Let's take the price up. You can't get it cheap. 130% price. 156 for this beautiful cooked chicken. Roasted on a fresh flame. Just for you. Look, there's no charred skin. It's plump. It's succulent. I would let you see how juicy it was, but I would not want to handle the chicken for your own safety, sir. Don't mind me. I'm going to order some more things. Give me that bow. You there. Bye. Do you know what my chicken... Look, this chicken's not going to stay good. Okay. A price slash is down to 150. Who wants the chicken? Fresh price. Chicken. Do you want some chicken? Chicken's good. Okay. Delivery's come. Uh-oh. <laughs> I need to take a quick break. <laughs> oh, no. I can't pause. Damn it. Okay. My dad's calling me. I'll give this his birthday. So, uh, I need to be right back. Sorry. Hello, people. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry in one regard. I know it was midway through a game. Uh, and this is your game as well, basic milky. We'll start a new game off and we'll, we'll do it again. Um, but yeah, it's my dad's birthday. And he's been up since half four. And I tried calling him earlier and missed him. And I know you're probably going to bed soon. So I didn't want to just like tell him I'm busy. It's, it's not a decent thing to do. I don't see him enough already. So uh, the least I can do is bloody speak to him on his birthday, right? So uh, let's uh, quit and let's start a new game. 
and so this is Uncle's shop by Baky. <laughs> this is Uncle's shop by Basic Milky. We've taken over the shop, and we need to order supplies and sell them to the wonderful patrons of this beautiful, beautiful little village that we live in. So it's a quiet this morning. You see, the people are just arriving at market. We should probably get order some things quickly. So we're gonna. I think that we'll buy a a cooked chicken. And I'm going to see if we can sell ourselves love. Uh, no, we'll get a bow. And then just a, a, something to tie us over. Something small. Uh, maybe a nice pie. Okay, so we're going to go first and see when we get customers in. We need to get our supplies first. Let's get our pie. Let's get our bow. Let's get our chicken. Okay, so customers are starting. Uh, they, they might fancy some pies. Let's get the pie down. We can take the price up a little bit. Just inflate it 10%. Good morning, good morning. I hear you fancy some blueberry pie. Am I right? Uh, okay, maybe maybe, maybe you fancy some chicken instead. Maybe, do you fancy some... Oh, they've walked away from me. This is terrible. Thank you very much for the raid. Wonderful. How good to see you. Hold on, hold on. We're trying to sell goods to our... Our customers who are coming in. Oh, the, the increased price actually carries over. Oh, they bought the chicken at an inflated price. We're making profit today. The next item we want to sell is this bow. Let's get the price of this up, though. We need a lovely markup. I think a 25% markup to look after your own life and your family. Good sir, have you considered the dangers of this town? I hear a bow is what you need to keep your family safe. If you don't buy it, she will. Wonderful, lovely to see you. Uh, how was your music stream? It was version 2 of your stream. Uh, did you get the sync issue sorted with your mic? Oh, she did take the bow in the end. We're in a good need. Uh, okay, we need to get some more. Oh, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I've got it in my inventory, right? Tab. Yeah, my pie. We can still sell a pie. Let's get the pie down. Pie. We're going to take you 115%. Well, I guess we'll go. Oh, they bought it already. Someone really wanted the pie. Okay, look, there's no goods in the store at the moment, but we need to save up a bit. So we're going to buy a salami. That is good. And then how much money do we have, actually? 250-ish. Let's get the salami. Oh, no, the salami's arrived. Look, people, look, there's a lot of things. We don't have many. It'd be good if we could buy another table to place things on. So let's see if we can do that. We put the salami down. We take the price up. There you go. That much. Now, in any of these items... Plant pot, small item stand, this. All right, we'll buy you. What about a chest? We'll store your most precious items or anything else, in fact. I don't think we actually need that. Help you grow seeds. Okay, plant pot. It's a bit expensive. Okay, okay. So, uh, we're getting some new things arrived. Someone bought the salami, which is good. Press E to pick up my small item stand. So, small item stand, where can we put it? How do we how do we place it? Oh, like what? We got a whole place, a system. All right, uh, eat a place. There we go. We got two things. We now need to buy some stock. Sorry, Phil. I'm I'm, I'm kind of fresh, pressing through with this. I think we should go for a spear this time because I think we'll get a better markup on it. And spears are really fashionable at the moment. Four twenty markup. What do you take me for? Yeah, I mean, I'm tempted. Let's let's we'll, we'll start. We'll do. I don't think it'll work, but we'll give it a go. We'll chuck a markup of 150. We'll start. If that works, we can start working to that 420. But this staff is, you will not regret buying it. You can use it to turn on the TV that doesn't exist yet. You can use it to poke a friend. You can use it to, to stab a foe. Okay, we need to order more things. There's too many people here. Uh, I, I, uh, your stream was better this time, doing the best you can with that specific gear. Well, that's good to hear. Did you perform some muse? I expect you did. Okay, let's, let's just quickly get ourselves some cheese. Who doesn't like cheese? Okay, we, we're not selling this stuff. They're all looking at it. Where's my, we're waiting for the cheese order to come in. No one is interested in my bloody staff at that price. I swear, oh, maybe I couldn't afford the cheese. Okay, look, look, the staff is coming down. We're discounting the staff. Who's interested in the staff? It's 130%. I mean, I don't tell them that. 260 gold for a fine staff. Surely someone's interested in a staff now. Uh, let's get something that we can afford. Bread loaf. 
Okay, we buy you. Okay, no. No one wants our staff. This is disappointing. It'd be nice to know if there's certain types of people who like certain items. That would make me feel like I would choose to put, buy and supply certain items, you know? Okay, the bread. Uh, we, we've upped the price of it a bit. We'll see. Does anyone might buy that? We need it because we're kind of out of money. Okay, look. We'll, we'll take this down further. Who's going to get it? There you go. 230. What a, this has been reduced by 70 gold. 70 gold! You're all looking very solemn here. Se 70 gold. Look at it. Okay, look. Look. I'm only ma I'm making pennies on this now. My gosh, people don't. Okay. Someone bought my bread. I can reinvest in more bread. Uh, pushover salesman. Look. Look, they weren't buying it. You saw how many people just staring at it. Uh, okay, nice to hear basic milky. Uh, right, uh, we don't have much. We, we can buy more bread loaves. A pie, we can buy a pie. Pie sell, okay. Right, did someone buy- <gasps> Someone bought the staff. This is great. Okay, so we need to now upgrade. Well, to be honest, if we buy a staff at the price of that, we only made a tiny amount off of it. This is less good. Uh, maybe we can buy two bows. The bow sold, alright. Alright, buying two bows. Bows are popular. Everyone wants to be Legolas, as I said, right? They saw the film. Uh, okay, look. There's a wonderful bow here. If anyone doesn't want a bow, there's another bow over here. But act fast, because this bow is even more expensive. Would you see that? Would you see? Look at it. It must, it must shoot arrows straighter. The straightest arrows you'll ever fire. All right, fine. We'll take this one back. Let's get the pie down. The pie. We're gonna go slight increase. Here you go. Twenty-six of your finest gold coins. Five percent isn't a lot of profit, but compared to the five percent of a pie versus five percent of a bow or a staff, it's it's all right. Okay, look. It's going down by five, but it's not going any lower. These people. I, I can't. I can't. Okay. Look, maces. Why is it, why are these so cheap? Are the prices randomised or the, a large axe? Five. I mean, surely. Okay. The pie has sold. <laughs> Be a salt trader. Look, I'm not salty that people aren't buying my stuff. Okay, large axe up for sale. It's five at the moment, but we're going to take... Oh, damn it. Someone bought it already. That's one thing I don't particularly like is that you don't have a choice to kind of change the price before you place it. All right, two axes. In the meantime, let's get this bow down. All right, there you go. Check it out. I don't know if they'll ever buy it as well. I don't know if it's a case that there's just they're rolling and there's a low chance... The, like the role they do determines how much they'll be willing to to maybe uh, go past the price that they want. Oh, is it a plastic mace? That would make sense. Look. Okay. It's because it's too cheap. We'll see if these are. We, we've slashed the price. Look. I've got a family. I need to feed them. Who's going to help me eat this week? I'm trying to save to open my other side of my shop. And these people are grumpy. Ramp it up to 500%. You know, I've got, I can't hold the button to increase it. I've got to manually press it. You know what you're asking me to do here? But Phil, if you're still about, the games are going good. Um, we have played, this is our second game we're playing. We, we're playing this and two more games tonight and then I'm wrapping up. Um, so, uh, yeah, we've, we've gone through, there was 44 games entered for the jam. We're probably through around 30 of them now. So yeah, uh, hopefully by Sunday I, I would have played through them all. All right, look, they're not buying these bows. We just, okay, 115, you're willing for that. Someone was instantly buying that. It's just going to take a while to invest. I think a quiver and a, and a, a bow combo sounds nice. So people got bows. They'll want that now, right? 
Okay. So they do buy bows at 115. That's good to know. So, uh... Let's try a shield. Let's go and get... Uh... These. Off they go. Okay, so, uh, we want to chuck these on our bar so we can actually use them. Okay, so we've got a plastic axe, apparently. Let's get the price up quick before someone buys it. Damn it! Okay, if we can just make a little bit of profit on our axe. So, oh, maybe you can change the price before you place it. I don't think you can, actually. That axe is huge. All right, shield is coming right up. Price is going up. Uh, we'll go 120 based on what people are doing. They, they don't tend to buy it at uh, that much of a, an increase. So the axes don't seem worth it. It seems that they, they're happy to go to around 115. Some of these. But then you don't get any profit. So I'm going to have to go with that. NPC seems sussy at the moment. Right? Is there things that change what they're they're into? Okay, uh, top of the range quiver just been added to the store. We're going to start the bidding at uh, 48 of your finest coins. All right, so what can we get a planter? Let's get the plant pot in. We order that and then we need to buy some seeds. We bought two seeds. And we're going to grow our money instead. All right, let's go. Let's go. Plant pot. Uh, okay, so... Can we, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a plant pot down here. Uh-oh. The plant pot got to go on a table. Oh, my gosh. Okay, look. You bought that. Oh, okay, no, no, it doesn't have to go on a table. It just wasn't showing up to begin with. All right, check out my plant pot. We need to spread the people around the shop that we've got, right? There we go. Press E to plant or harvest. Uh, okay. E. It's growing. Hold on. Can I do it again? Okay, someone finally bought the quiver. Nice. Okay. Can we harvest it? Holy cow. Okay. This just changed everything. I can just grow. I can just grow stuff. How much does the pumpkin sell for? Alright, who wants a pumpkin? Oh my gosh, this is... That's a markup. And we'll go for that price for the pumpkin. You want a pumpkin too? That's the price for you. We order some seeds in. Alright, we've got our money making now. Plant the seed. Let's just hope people like pumpkins. Alright, ten of these. I can't buy ten of them. Nine. Eight. My numpad isn't working. Nine. Ten. Go. Okay, we've got ten of those seeds. How much money have we got now? That's not a problem. Let's pick up our goods. Pumpkin seeds go there. Okay, so we need to go ahead and plant a bunch of the pumpkins. Okay, we've got three in there growing. But the pumpkin's gone. My friends, don't worry. We'll be growing more soon. You just need to hold on. I don't think we've got much more than a, a hundred. Uh, so, can we buy a chicken? Oh, no, we can't. we got 113. Okay, so we're going to have to look for something that's close to that. Small item stand means we can sell more pumpkins. Do you know what? We'll do it. We'll, we'll buy another item stand. Think of the pumpkins. Okay, let's harvest these pumpkins. Let's get them. Oh, no. Come on. Get. Okay. I'd like if I could keep the pumpkins on my hot bar. So let's, let's just place these here. Look at the pumpkins. Beautiful pumpkins. Get your pumpkins. Uh, I, mean, I mean, do we want some fresh pumpkins for sale over here? Can you rotate? I doubt it, but it'd be nice if you could. Oh, no. I've just placed it here. Well, that's fine. <laughs> we need to place some more pumpkin seeds anyway, don't we? There we go. Do you not like my pumpkins? I'm pretty much a pumpkin merchant now. Why does a pacifist game have a giant axe? asked uh, Torp. Well, um, it was a plastic axe. 
Now, pacifist game jam focusing on mechanics that aren't uh, the core mechanics aren't about violence or confrontation, and the core mechanics of this game is about buying and selling trade goods to people. So I think it pretty much passes on that front. Okay, so we got some new pumpkins, fresh pumpkins. Who wants some fresh pumpkins? You want some fresh pumpkins? I want some fresh pumpkins. There we go. So the pumpkin seed, like it's five five gold for a seed, but then it sells for thirty four. We're making nineteen profit on those. It's a slow game. The pumpkin market, you know. But someone's got to do it, you know. Can we can we plant more than three? Yeah, you can. They overgrow a bit, but I don't think it really matters. So no one's after that pumpkin at the moment. We're making quite a bit of money from them. Wait for this one to grow. There we go. So the shame is I feel like this is more profitable for me than anything else. So we're just going to go ahead and buy another item stand. Make that two. Did we buy two? No, we haven't got the money. Okay. One. Oh, now we could have. Yeah, let's go and buy another one quick. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. This is just going to... It's pure pumpkin in here. Let's get our kids. Uh, grab these out. Oh, we need to get some more seeds as well. Otherwise, we can't we can't make money anymore. So yeah, have you got a mechanic for if you run out of money? I guess you wouldn't. You'd always pretty much sell it for. It'd be pretty hard to do that. You'd have to take the money de the price of things down. Uh, I'm trying to work out where we want to do these next tables. I feel like it's blocking things here, but oh my gosh. Is he going to put it on top of it? I think that's an accidental glitch. Okay, well, we'll just put it over here. Is that behind? Am I behind it? You can put things on top of each other by the looks of it. I don't know. It might be glitching as well. So let's just whack that by here. Eat a place. Okay, we got pumpkins. We're meant to be selling them. Sorry, folks. I was misleading as the pumpkin seller when I'm not selling any of them. We want to go for uh, 10 of those, please. Let's go plant the seed. We could get more, another plant pot as well, but I don't think... I don't think that's uh, the plan for now. Just in time for Halloween. You can rotate with R. Do you know what? I tried Q and E and plus and minus. Oh, I wish, uh, I wish I'd tried that. Thank you. Okay. They're all a-growing. Well, the good news is everyone loves pumpkins. We can sell this. Uh, so is this an issue that you, you kind of uh, have addressed in the continued development of this then, basically? It's like the... It seems like this strategy is more lucrative. I guess if, if you have a, a, an environment where people uh, are willing to uh, like have items that they're after, based on their personality, then they may not have pumpkins, and so it's you need to get other stuff in as well, I guess, right? Demon sword. Demon sword. Sounds troublesome, but wonderful. Okay, we'll place these down. X to remove. Oh, so can I... Oh, you can remove it once it's already down. I hear you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, we, thank you. That is helpful. Okay. Okay. So, they just rotate on 90 degree angles. That's cool. Okay. So, I can put one over here. It would maybe make sense to have two. But, um... I think we could, we could go for that sort of thing and there'd be an entryway across there. But at the moment, we can't afford... Oh, I... We can't afford to extend our shop anyway, can we? Uh oh. I'm finding it hard to pick up the, the... I think the the distance in which you can pick up is a little bit too far for our preference. We can try pumping up the price a bit. See if anyone buys a 120% pumpkin. You like pumpkins? I like pumpkins. Pumpkins for everyone. Actually, can we take that back? Um, let's uh, get this one up. Um, they don't seem to like the pumpkins this price. Who knows? We'll listen to see if we get that sweet sound of gold trickling into our tills. 
Uh, we need to buy some more seeds, that's for sure. Oh, there is salt when someone said I can just be a salt merchant. I thought you are just calling me a salty boy. Okay, so 20. Uh, purchase that. Um, Alright, let, let, let's take it down a little. 35. 35 for your greatest pumpkin. You won't taste a pumpkin like this anywhere else. Can you just grow a ton of these? I'm trying to click us. Maybe there's only six or so slots. Okay, we're buying it. We're selling them at 35. Get your pumpkins. Oh, we got a table to put down as well. Okay. Uh, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll just get this next to... Mm, kind of... Maybe on the... Yeah, by here. Just... Can we interest you in a cheeky pumpkin on the way out? Here we go, they're selling now, they're selling. They're selling. The growing side of it is quite cool because it makes me feel like I've got, you know, I need to run around and keep on top of stuff. Whereas they're like just ordering, placing it on the tables. Okay, what, what's our money like? What's our money? Okay, we're flowing, we're flowing. We've got some good money coming. Let's, uh, I'm trying to pick these up. Okay, we're growing six of those. We got the pumpkins replenishing fast. These are good. They can't decide what they want, but it's it's all right. All right, we can harvest our pumpkins. It'd be nice if there's other things you could grow as well. Uh, but we we what we're we saving up for then? I think we're gonna go for the demon sword, most expensive item. We we just need to sell a few more pumpkins for it. <laughs> this is a, uh, correct soft immense. This is such a good snapshot of Honest Dan. Could be selling cool axes and demon souls, but instead become a pumpkin merchant. That's me. Look, they're not just for pumpkins. Not just for Halloween, right? We gotta, we gotta start the movement. Okay, okay. You're not having. Okay, there's gonna be a pumpkin sale starting any moment now. Okay, pumpkin sale is on. Take this pumpkins quickly. They're 33. 33? Madness. How can he afford it? He can't. That's the truth of it. He can't, but he does it because he likes it. He likes the company in his store. All right, that, that sale did not last for long. We're going back up the standard price now. Okay, have we got a demon sword? There it is. A prized possession. I think this uh, this deserves a slightly special uh, table. So we'll, we'll lower the price so we can sell a couple. Come on, buy him. 10% price. It's not that much, is it? We bought one. You. Okay, good. We're going to pull you back. Time to make our demon sword display. Right in the middle of here, I think, would be good. Are you interested in... A demon sword. I wasn't either. And then it spoke to me. Let's get it. There it is. Demon sword, demon sword. Right, quickly. No one's allowed to be near it because they'll pick it, they'll buy it at face value. Alright, here we go. Up the price, quick, quick, quick. Okay, 120 pound, 120 percent. Look at it. My words, it's wonderful. You can harvest pumpkins with this device. Suitable for pumpkin farmers. Pumpkin fans. Oh, look. They all seem to like this as a general occasion. I guess there's maybe not a balance between the tables that this is their, like, default go-to because it's where the first table is. You're considering it, aren't you? Oh, we bought the demon sword, ladies and gentlemen. We are becoming a demon sword supplier. We're going to get another one ready to sell it. Here we go. Unleashing demons onto the world. Here you go. Here we go. Making the profits. Let's get... Not slaying the profits. We're making the profits. Alright, there's a pumpkin over here. Pumpkin over here. Pumpkin over there. Who wants my pumpkins? Alright, they're going up in price, I'm afraid. Uh, it's been a difficult season for me. These demons are giving me a hard time. So I've had to take prices up. 
All right, I think we're, we're, we're making that we've got a good biz business model, right? We'll buy 20 more seeds. That'll keep us going. Uh, we might buy... I think a love potion might be suitable. Let's uh, get the seeds. Harvest you. Okay, we've planted those. Lovely. Pumpkin's going down. Have you seen this demon sword, fine monk? You would look wonderful wielding this. No. But have you seen it? I don't think they're really considering the demon sword. I haven't even told them that it unleashes demons into the world. And they're not taking it. It's just rude if you ask me. Okay, did we have... Uh, so the potion of love is what we were considering. And this might be our final item we, uh, we purchase. Potion of love. Potion of love is going to take the place of uh, a pumpkin. This is going to be the best seller just as they walk in. Alright, take the price up. Take the price up. You don't get love that cheap. 115%. 2.90. This sounds a good price to me. Good price to you. There you go. You like a good pumpkin. Right, let's sell them. Let's sell them. Pumpkins for all. Plenty growing. Ah, oh, he sold the demon sword. The money's trickling in. Oh no, we put the, the accidental potion of love. We have to get out there. Come on. It's not that expensive. You can take it. Look, while we're, we're short on demon swords at the moment, so if I can ask you to kindly buy a pumpkin instead, that'd be great. But I guess at this point, we've probably got enough money coming in soon that we can open a new part to our store. Yeah, I, I think if you can definitely have a bit more personalization to it, and maybe like a, a day shift cycle, you know, where you've got to get stuff out. People come in and it's about organizing, presenting stuff based on the customers who are coming by. Maybe there's like a weekly schedule with his events during the week, you know, where you might be a march, or where people come through the city on a busy weekend day. There might be just a lot of workers certain days. There might be an art fair where people are interested in different sort of stuff. Yeah, it could, it could be interesting. I like the premise for sure, though. Right, no one wants my potion of love. Take it down, just a little. How about this? 287 for love. Buying love. Okay, so we're almost at the thousand. When we get to a thousand, oh, what? This is second floor. Are you serious? There's a back room. That's crazy. Oh no. Yeah, let's just whack these down. We're gonna we're gonna have to wrap up in a sec. But it's been fun. I just wanna open a new area. Do we go this way? Yeah, I wanna have a look through there. What's this? There's a back a backyard? No, I just can't. I can't unlock that, surely. That's just limiting me, I think. Well, that looks like I could have gone upstairs, though. Good news is we sell, we sold the potion of love. We're, make, we're making bank. We're a bit low on pumpkins at the moment. Pumpkins are selling out. Uh, let's get them selling. Selling like hotcakes is the pumpkin. Okay, here we go. Pumpkin, pumpkin everywhere. Here you go, buy them. Uh, yeah, this this was an asset pack. Uh, they they customized one of the assets, uh, the, this one, because <laughs> uh, they always have a character that, with that here in their game. But yeah, no, it's it's definitely nice. I feel like I'm stopping playing because I can imagine what it's going to be like if I carry on playing for ten minutes. It'd be pretty much. Much of the same, but more pumpkins. <laughs> I could maybe get a farm of these pumpkin things, buy more tables, sell more. Because we've got plenty of customers in. Uh, buy, sell more demon swords until I eventually uh, kind of unleash demons throughout the city. 
Oh, we can look at it. Oh, one T posing over there. Look at that. You didn't put him in a pose. Yeah, it's cool though. It's definitely cool. I've enjoyed. We'll finish off uh, the day with one fine uh, demon sword. That's our business. Pumpkin and demon swords would be the name of our business. Uh, we'll pick up this demon sword. Place it on the table. Give it a fair price. Yeah, we, we sold. We sold two at six hundred. We gotta wait, just wait for the right customer, haven't we? There it is. It's sold already. I think we've got a demon army forming. We'd be wary of that. Hey, plenty of pumpkins can go around. All right, cool. So we're rich. I, I kind of just want to open this bit just to see if we could go upstairs, and then we're we're done. So we just need to sell another bunch of pumpkins and then we're good. Give me my seeds. Shouldn't need more than 10 of these. Seed pose is a new marketing strategy. Is that so? You look bigger so people notice you. Ah, oh, like, I get how, what you mean, like a puffer fish, right? Right, cute. We're almost out of pumpkins. Look, don't tell anyone. There's plenty. There's a couple left in here. The finest pumpkin establishment in the city has not run out of pumpkins. That would be embarrassing. Right? That would be embarrassing. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just need to sell. What are they, what are they going at? 34. Yeah, Basic Milky is the, the person who made the game. So can you go upstairs as well then, Basic? The garden looks cool. I'd like it if it was like some perk to growing stuff out the back. Or maybe you don't need planters in order to plant stuff out the back. Okay, so we're almost there. Couple, couple more. Find my pumpkins. Okay, two more. Two more pumpkins. Who wants them? I'll bring down the price even. There you go. Look at this. You haven't seen pumpkins this cheap in weeks. Take the pumpkins. Take the pumpkins. Look. Okay, we've made it. New area. Does it let us unlock this? Oh my gosh, you can. And there's a hole upstairs. Crikey. That is cool. Oh, you can craft, what is this, you can craft items. Oh my words, this is a new, oh, so now that I've unlocked that, you can actually order in the wood and the iron, buy two of those and buy uh, five of those. And then you can actually craft stuff as well. That's added a nice little layer to this. I would have almost missed that if I didn't force myself to go to this. Yeah, you need to make sure that's easy to find, so players get, don't give up early, you know? Let's make ourselves uh, a sword. Do I instantly have it then? I do. There you go. It's not a demon sword. We're, we're, we're learning. But crikey. That's a good profit. Yeah, so I, I think what I'd recommend is kind of getting that, that iteration a bit quicker. Because I think you've got, like, the planting food was a good way, and that's available from the start. Um, but it, it took a while to kind of get that and now the idea that you can craft these things yourself and maybe you pay money to upgrade this to have it work a bit differently or learn new maybe you have to go to the market and buy new blueprints so that you can craft new things maybe the price of things changes the suppliers there's things going around you can invest money in maybe travel routes and stuff like that which would increase the like the bringing in cost of, of some of the raw materials yeah lots of things to be doing so yeah that's great I, I'm gonna quit the pumpkin and demon sword store will be remembered for a long time but we're gonna move on I press quit and we're in browser no we're not it just doesn't quit uncle shop you can never leave the demon and pumpkin store well, uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll get talking about the next game, next game, while we wait. 
so that was Uncle Stu. Actually, no, we'll, uh, we'll, we've got to give uh, a bit of feedback as well. Died, <laughs> this is what you see. So the pacifist theme, I think it was really good. There were, like, some weapons and that in there, but really, um, it wasn't a game about those weapons as well. So definitely, I'd say four and a half, really, if I could. The fun side of it was harder to... It was not obviously fun, right? But it, it does get more fun the more you... Based on if you enjoy those kind of, like, growing economy sort of games. So I'd, I'd probably say it's between three and four. Because it's a bit slow, I'm going to go for the four thing. The originality of it, I'm sure there's other games like it, but I haven't really played it. I, I liked... You hinted at the how it could be more original as well, with the different areas and the, like, the crafting station and the like. I like that. Uh, obviously, those things exist in games already, but from a, a selling point of view and having customers coming in and out, I liked it. The visuals were great, but unfortunately, because they were like asset packs, I don't rate more than a three in those situations as well. Uh, with the audio as well, how much of the game's music did you make? Ah, it was all made as well. Yeah, it was nice. Nice music. Really suitable little background track. Uh, and the little sounds when you when you um, sell things as well. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and give a little bit of written feedback. I am the best... No. The Pumpkin and Demon Sword store was a huge success. Uh, all the other pumpkin sellers were run out of town. They couldn't compete. Let's just hope we don't unleash any demons. Uh, I enjoyed this. Uh, a lovely little atmosphere. And you effectively use the assets, uh, the asset pack. Um, I think the General premise is good. It just needs a little bit more kind of dopamine hits. Is that how you spell dopamine hits? Like early on. As uh, once I figured out the plant growing and uh, the item crafting. That's where I started to enjoy things most. Um, uh, so we are looking forward to see how you develop this further. Develop this further. Thank you, Basic Milky and Co. I procrastinated most of the weeks, so I only had around 12 hours to create the game. Well, good on you for still taking part. All right, let's have a little look then. I'm, I'm looking forward to try this one out. So the game is Air Push. Uh, the aim of the game is to build fans to navigate the ball to its destination. Okay, I think I can see how that could work. Place fans using the B key or clicking the fan icon in the top right. The number below the fan indicates how many fans you can place. When you finish placing the fans, click the play icon and then it'll simulate, I guess, right? You can speed up time to, to watch it. Okay, cool. You can skip levels. The final level... This is very difficult, but not impossible. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's give this a go. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh no, there's no full screen option. Oh no, it seems, has it gone off the screen a little bit as well? Hmm. F11 it? Uh, am I right to say it's kind of glitched out a little bit off the screen? Ah, so that's like the way that it is going to blow. So if I did that and press play. Ah, uh, okay, so they're blowing up. If it's not super important, I don't mind. I can still, I can still play. Okay, so to restart then. Oh, there's the ball not restart. Okay, no, we do need to restart. Okay, so... I, I'm guessing we need to get the... 
Can we just place them? Oh, you can place them anywhere. I thought they had to be on the floor. Okay, so if we... Okay, that got it to the the goal. Okay, bro. So that'll start it going up, right? And then we need to build probably... One... Going like that. I reckon we could probably build one here then. To just float it along a bit. We don't have that many fans, so we're going to have to just... Build it up a little bit and a little bit, and then we'll go for one final push just over here. Let's see. I got a feeling I might have used this platform a bit too much. But let's press play, see what happens. Does it go high enough? Damn it, all of that. Okay, R to restart, no, okay. Oh, you can just go back one at a time. No, but it doesn't make sense to do that. It's the, uh, okay, never mind. I think that's just a... You can do it when you're playing. You're not meant to do it before you press play. So how's that, that going? That brings it across. Oh, it rolls. We can take it from there. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll, we'll whack this one over here. Like we just did. Then we can build this... Uh, and it should still be going forward, but to be sure, we'll, we'll start getting a bit of an angle on him. And then this one should hopefully just be enough just to tilt it forward. Alright, let's go. Roll along. Oh, wow, the fat... It went over it. <laughs> okay okay so yeah it's a little trial and error but i mean it, when you you're short on time so i appreciate that uh there's elements of it that are not going to be like full game thinking uh but let's go ahead and press play speed it up a bit okay that one worked that one worked okay that's good okay so the goal is down here this time can we not just build a little one down here that would do that Oh, uh, we kind of got lucky, but we'll we'll go with it. Okay, how does this one look immediately? It blows it across. Okay, we need one. Oh, I pressed space to skip the level accidentally. I didn't want to do that. Okay, so we need to build one here. That'll blow it up. This will probably then blow this across. Uh, and I'll tell you what, we'll do one here just in case. It goes under. Let's give that a go. Oh no. So it just bounced off of it, did it? Let's try this. Okay, we might need to just build, uh, have two of them there. A bit like that. That's better, eh? Okay, cool. So this one, we probably need to build uh, that across here. It might hit it a bit hard, that. But imagine we go up here like that. We might need to get this one going a, a little bit across like that. Then this going across like this. And then finally, I mean, this might block that very first one. So maybe we can undo that one. Yeah, if it gets to there, we just need to push it on that little bit more. Okay, let's go. Come on. Go across. You can do it, Baz. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fans can or can't blow through. They can blow through walls. Okay. So, I guess we can try that to begin with. I'll bounce it. Okay, yeah, that, that looks good. That looks good. Let's restart. Build. This goes here. This goes here. Oh, no. Uh, here. I've accidentally highlighted the page. Then we can start... Uh, 
building it'll go up so we can probably start blowing it like that I think we'll likely do that just in case it oh we haven't got another let's go let's see get through the gap bounce up no I wish in a way that you could keep some of them because I feel like I want to test this out but then if I test it uh, I've got to do it all again come on get through bounce up Okay, that time we're going. Come on, you can do it. Go a bit higher. A bit higher. This one will catch it. Here we go. Come. No, not too far. Just bounce. Yeah. It'd be lovely to see you have some kind of uh, area visible so you know where the air, how far it goes. It's a cool idea, though. I like it. I like having to predict it a bit and think about the velocity, the gravity, and. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, we've got four fans, so I think we're going to just have to test our prediction here. All right, go. Perfect, exactly what I was planning. We can just instantly take it up a bit higher then. And hope that it makes it. Here we go. Fly, my pretty! Yeah. Nice. Did I press restart? Or is it just a slightly different level? It might just be a slightly different level. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, fair point. It's a new le Oh, I have less of them this time. I see. Oh, we still just made it. Okay, good. Holy cow, there's a lot of fans. What happens when we press play? Okay, okay, so. We want to blow it this way. And then we're going to keep trying to push it up. We'll try and fill, uh, plug the gaps, what we can at least. Let's go. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay. Need to blow it away, blow it away, blow it away. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's the sort of uh, what we're working with. So we kind of need to immediately get a bit of pushback on it. And what we'll do is we'll put a bunch... Oh, that might be a bit too high. If it, uh, tell you what, let's just give it a go. <laughs> I mean, we might luck this. No! Oh, okay, okay. Um, I don't think it was... I'm trying to remember, I don't. I think it, it was too low to begin with, wasn't it? I don't know. Oh dear. Okay, okay. Uh, redo. What's that do? Uh, it's a bit, uh, we're a bit lucky with that. If we do that straight up, we need this then to kind of be more this way. Push it back. I mean, we, we should probably let it roll down and go through that gap too. I think I'm probably going a more complex route here than I need to. Let's go back to, but, uh, Okay, so we typically have kind of gone a bit too far this way. 
We're just going to try and protect against that. This is our Hail Mary just in case. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's the... That's the frustrating bit, is you set them up and then you failed early and you feel you wasted time doing that. For, uh, that's the kind of negative player experience that you can have. Are you serious? How did... Did I not place one down? Uh, oh, I must have forgot the very... F I thought I, I did, actually. Mm -hmm. Because if we want, we could just use them as things to bounce off. And then just set a fan at the bottom to push it through. This may go too high, so I think we're going to have to just chuck a few of these, like here, just in case. Ah! Okay, so we just want it to fall to the ground. And then we basically just need one to, to bump it over here. That's the main thing. And if it falls here, then we need another one. All right, come on. Come on. Get through there. Exactly how we planned. So this is the last level. This is apparently possible but difficult. So how does it is do they just it just bounces off of them okay chuck that uh, roughly there then we're gonna have this going up this going up probably go here and then we're gonna go up here and start getting some to go across maybe wasn't quite the plan come on you can do it go now go up go over and up go on <sighs> he's done it he's done it oh no this is the difficult one there's me thinking i managed to do it it's almost like that plinko game or whatever right Oh, you only have one. Oh, my words. That's funny. <laughs> That's great. You could be on this for bloody hours trying to figure this one out. No. How does it fall normally? Does it bounce? Okay, okay, wait there. Could we get it here? Like this. Not quite. We're going to lower so it only impacts it towards the end instead. Not enough. Oh dear, are we going to get this one? I'm tempted to keep trying. Go on. Ah! It bounced through. Go on. He's done it. I've completed the game. Thank you very much. My yellow ball got into the green cube. What a day to be alive. What a day to be alive. That, that was fun. It was a fun little puzzle game and it made you want to figure it out as well. So yeah, good on you. Thank you, Odwin, for taking part in the game, Jan. I enjoyed that. Let's give some feedback. So pacifist, I can't really complain about the pacifism or any issue to do with that in there. That was cool. 
Uh, There's no like death, wasn't it? It was just try and get it to the zone and try again if you fail. So that was that was fine. The the fun it was it was hit by the the, the bit of trial and error and a bit of frustration and it feels a little bit uh, non obviously fun. But sometimes these kind of games are satisfying more than fun. Um, so yeah, I think that's why it sits a little lower there. Uh, I've seen some kind of physicsy games before, but for me, it's quite a, an original puzzle game from my perspective. Uh, the visuals, you said you did everything but the, the icons. Um, yeah, I think I, the art is fine enough. It, it's not, I mean, the, the, it's shapes with a ball and stuff like that, right? Uh, but then you got the little cube effect. It's, it's not groundbreaking, but for, for the time given, you did good. And then there's no audio as well, so we just drop that down there. So, uh, I did it! including the last level uh it was pretty satisfying to play a good sense uh of planning uh followed by cross your fingers and hope it all works how you imagined it i think uh it can cause a slight negative player feeling when you plan out uh, like six plus fans and then realize your first one or two was problematic uh, so you don't get very far however uh, if you could uh, keep previously placed fans, I think it would take away from some of the char the game's charm. So I'm not sure the right solution there. Thanks for letting us enjoy your game. Programmer art indeed. Yeah, but it was fine. It was, it was nice and presentable. It didn't put me off, right? It's the only way, Brill. Okay, cool. Let's check this out then. So, this is a game by Halsey. Click directly above the ground to place plants for the ants to eat when hungry. Pan around the screen with mouse by moving to the edges of the screen. This is more of an AI experiment with navigation and some small state switches than a game. That's Brill. Let's check it out. Sounds good to me. Let's play ants. What is this? A game for ants? Okay, here we are. Look at it. Look how nicely animated it is. Look at the little ant. So I can place a plant, it said, I think. If I click above the ground. <gasps> ah! Okay, so we've got another ant over here. I like that it's like we're looking up from the distance with this kind of foreground. It gives you that sense of like, hey, you're watching them from a distance. So beware. Okay, so we've, got, we've placed a plant over here. We can let another one go down here. The plant, do they like... Oh. Okay, so you can see inside of that. Do they like the plants? Are you going to eat the plants? Let's have a little look around, shall we? Okay, we've got another little home. I, I assume it's their homes. Okay, and we're, we're at the end there. We'll drop a little plant over there. And then up here, just make sure there's nothing up in the sky for us to check out. Okay, cool. No little Easter eggs. Okay, let's go back down to the ground then. Here they are. So, you might get hungers. We'll set a little field of plants up for you. It's a little meadow between the the house. What's this thing then? Is that a big... Oh, here they are. I think they're hungry now. They're getting their little march on. Is it choosing a plant to go and nom? <laughs> Maybe they're just moving. Maybe they just fancy going on a dance. Off they go. So maybe they're going back to their home. Where did this one go? <gasps> He's gone to its home. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's check these two. They're going to run to their house as well. Where are they? Come on, go, go, go. Get in. Hopefully they're going to just hang out and not do anything unsavory. Make baby ants. Get in there. Or maybe you're not. Oh, yeah, you are. Okay. One has gone, at least. And one has kept going. 
It's had enough. There's, a, there's plants there if you want some foods. And this one's just chilling out. Having a sleep. Is there another home? This might be your home. Well, maybe you've just got a longer run, haven't you? Well. Oh, are you out of your home now? Or did you just pop to the front? Let's go and check on this one. Yeah, we've lost this one. He's gone to his home. He's never coming. I, he might have just popped out as I went past. Okay, let's go back. Oh, is he sorting? Okay, so they're there, but it kind of flickers between whether you can see them or not. That's okay. So they're in the home. Shh, it's fine. We can't see them, okay? There you go. And this one's just getting over to their home now. Should probably stay there, right? Yeah. Okay, so when you get up out of your home, you're going to see a meadow of beautiful food to eat. I look after my ants, I do. Okay, and you're going to have the same. So maybe I can't plant too close to the home. Sometimes I click and it doesn't seem to let me drop it. Like right here, I guess it's too close. I don't know, I dropped one there. Oh, crikey, we dropped it on the house. And then, this is a cool structure, though. I like that. And then this one, I think, is still in his house. Yeah, there he is. There he is. All right, well, you're going to have a solitary snack. And we'll see. We'll see whether they, whether they leave their little homes. But while we wait, we can think about who we're going to go and raid. I think we, we do have a... Uh, an insta fluff live as well so we might be able to go and raid him we don't often get a chance to raid insta fluff it was meant to be an aphid uh, an aphid farm what's what's that he's bouncing who uh, insta fluff or the ants you mean I've got insta fluff on another screen that i can load now you might hear some adverts now, sorry, let me turn that off. I chose me. Joined a team. Found my people. People who picked me up when I was down. Oh, Insta is raiding. Oh, he's bouncing as in he's going. Sorry, I thought you meant like energy wise he's bouncing. Or it could have been some of these little cute ants bouncing up and down. The ant farm if it's another uh insect for the Uh so ants farm aphids which is another insect for their poop called honeydew well, that doesn't sound so as nice does it right farming for poop although we do use poop to farm as well don't we good old fertilizer well, i'm not too sure if they're gonna leave their home they seem very content with being at home at the moment hold see It might be bugged. It could be bugged. I realized when I clicked out. Come in. Damn, Dan, do you want to raid with us? Oh, yeah, I'm stuck to this. We fixed. We went on a big journey to fix our Pixel Fluff server today because there was node version issues and Discord JS version issues. And so we'll see who Insta Fluff is raiding. We'll see what, uh, if this gets uh, fixed as well. No problem for the stream artifacts. Thanks everyone for being here. We will need to write feedback. Raid. They've all gone home. Oh, Hello? is that intent? There's physics on these things. I don't know if it's intentional, but I quite enjoy that. Yeah, some little resource bar or a way to kind of know what's happening. Or if you have the emotes, you can click sub raid and then paste it with the sub emotes. <laughs> I've made a Christmas. Oh no. I've almost made a Christmas tree. Hold see. Uh, uh, the art, I as I said, so let's, let's talk about the good things on this. I really like this kind of perspective you've got, the different layers, uh, going into the distance, 
But also, like, this close one just gives you an idea that you're watching. I think that's the most powerful kind of thing that you've got here. The artwork on all of this is great. Look at the amount of detail in this main foreground that you've got. It's lovely. The little kind of uh, art you've got on these uh, it is great, especially the little animations and they walk. Uh, and I think the way that you've kind of created these ants, you've made them really cute as well with the little, the little eye and teeth. Uh, it's obvious uh, that you had some extra scope that you wanted to fit in, but as you said, IRL came up, and that's all good. Uh, it's no uh, no stress, and I'm really glad that you still submitted, because some people will be a bit like, oh, well, I'm not going to submit now because I didn't get to do what I want, and really, that's not what we want from the jam. It's good just to celebrate what you did do, and there's plenty of good stuff here as well. So, yeah, really pleased uh, that you um, were able to uh, get something in still. Now, uh, we were going to raid maybe the same target as Instafluff. However, he's in, he's raided his friend Starlet Blossom, who I don't know, and she just does IRL streaming, which is totally fine. But, like, we do game dev here typically, or some form of dev. So I'll probably just look for someone we can raid who's doing a little bit of dev instead, if that's all right with people. Um, but let's write a little bit of feedback on the game. Uh, if anyone's got any dev recommendations in the chat, uh, let us know. Hey, Riazzi. Cinderblocks creates. Yeah, it's boats. I'll I'll take you on that. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so if you want to join me on the raid, uh, we always go and see Irish John. Irish John's an absolute beaut, but uh, we do raid him very often. So instead, we're gonna go and see Cinderblock creates because we don't raid them very often. Uh, so we'll we'll go over to see those. In the meantime, let's go and quickly uh, fill out a bit of feedback on Holtzy's game. Uh, so uh, let's open this. So the pacifist theme is totally chilled, really. They were just going around eating and living their best life. The fun element of it, realistically, Holtzy, I can't give you too high on that because not, there wasn't much working with it. There wasn't much interaction with it. Uh, the idea of like a bit of a simulation where you've got to tend to their needs, though, has some originality. I'd like to see where it would be higher if I saw more of what your idea would have been. Uh, the visuals are great, like really good art. You saw the animation starting off as well. So I was really, really pleased to see that. Uh, there was no audio from what I could hear as well. So I've gotten rid of that. So really quick uh, summary here was like such a great potential. I loved uh, the close foreground making me feel like I was watching these creatures in their natural habitat.